Holy crap, I got something big. What do you got? Ooh. I got a... Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and we are not on the farm. We are back in beautiful, sunny Pensacola Beach, Florida, for a week with friends and family on the beach. This is our rental house for the week, and I think we've got 14 or 15 people here. Big group, and a perfect spot of combination of beachfront and gulf front if that's possible. Pensacola Beach Island is a long, narrow strip of land that's gulf water on one side and the bay on the other, and it's awesome. We're definitely not gulf front in this house, but we can see the, we can see the gulf. Look at that view. That's the key though, because if you, uh, if you get about two rows of houses off the beach, like we're one street away from the beach here, house prices <laughs> dramatically drop on rental rates for sure. And uh, we're one block from the beach. We got a nice beach walk over to get there. We can go the other direction and get to the bay. So we're basically one block from the Gulf, one block from the bay. So if the waves are too bad, on the Gulf side, we can switch over and go to the Bay side, and we call it the Baby Beach. Houston loves it. The little kids usually love it over there because the cal the water's just calm and flat, and uh, perfect for just lounging in the sun, playing. And then when you want to go play in the waves, you go to the Gulf side. We love it here. It's awesome. So we've got a full week of adventure planned. No telling what all we're going to get into. It's going to consist of a lot of beach time, hanging out on the beach. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to go out and do some fishing and stuff. Houston is really thinking about wanting to do some magnet fishing with uh, a good friend of ours that lives down here, cameraman Ron. He's been on our channel before, but uh, I don't know. Probably just make a couple videos while we're here. Mostly going to do a, a lot of good eating and some hanging out, lounging on the beach, playing in the water, maybe getting a little sunburn, but we'll bring you along for the fun. This morning, Houston and I got up nice and early. Cameraman Ron's over here from the Camera Cameraman Ron YouTube channel, and uh, he's big into magnet fishing. And Houston loves magnet fishing videos. Don't know why. It's just something that he loves to watch on YouTube, especially in the Florida area because there's so many bodies of water in so many places. Just like this bridge, people throw stuff off the bridge, and we're at a boat ramp right now, so people drop stuff off their boats, drop stuff off the dock, and uh, he loves magnet fishing videos been trying to talk me into getting him a big magnet for magnet fishing 
problem is the lake near us is a national park and you can't take anything out of a national park so we'd have to do some traveling get a little bit farther away from home to do it he's gonna try it today and welcome to another magnet fishing video as you guys know through instagram and you probably already seen some of daniel's videos the entire arms family is down here in the pensacola area this week but one of the number one things that my buddy houston wanted to do i'll let you tell him what have you been wanting to do ever since you got here last week Magnet fishing. Why do you want to go magnet fishing so bad? I mean, we caught killer fish off the Mako the other day, and you want to come out here looking for metal? So there, there's a good chance somebody in our audience doesn't know what magnet fishing is. So tell us what magnet fishing is. Magnet These fish fishing. are like metal, and they're magnetic or something? No. What kind of fish are we trying to catch? Metal. Oh. So what's magnet fishing? So you throw a magnet out into the water and find scrap. There you go. So we're out here looking for trash. Yeah. I catch trash fish and trash metal. I do it all. I, I could I could be a trash charter captain. I could do that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you found a pirate gun out here the other I, day, I right? I did find a pirate gun right on the other side of that bridge. Yeah, it was pretty wild. It was, it's been a little while ago, but yeah, we thought it was a toy at first. And then when we took it and got it looked at, it was actually an old flintlock pistol. And it was right on that time frame of, it could have been like a gentleman's pistol from like the Lincoln era, but it also could have went as far back as like pirate treasure. So who knows? Who knows? All right, go find us a gun. All right, so here's what we do, man. Super simple. I'll toss that for you because this is a big heavy magnet. And then all you gotta do is pull it back. But you gotta pull it back nice and slow, okay? I, I will tell you, I've got a great track record on my first throws. So I'm just I'm just throwing that out there for you. And then you'll just grab that rope and you'll just pull it straight back to you. All right, your first pull. Let's see if you got anything, man. Is there anything on there? Hopefully there's a magnet. We definitely have a magnet. Come on, man. You didn't get nothing. You've ruined my... Uh oh, easy. That can't have hooks in it there. I definitely don't want you catching a hook. Man, how are you not getting... You've ruined my first throw mojo, Houston. Then you do it. Hold something up there. Oh, you're going to pull it in yourself and not... Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. No, nope, we did Caught nothing. Well, you just thought. All right, let's see what we got here, Houston. Stand right here and pull it straight in. Well, yeah. you got to move, so yeah. he's got to work his just way down. Pull it over there. You're, you're pulling it back on the same line. You get what he's doing, Houston. He threw it out here, and every time we just work our way over, so we're hitting the water in different spots every time. Come this way a little bit, Houston. Little bit of just a touch oh, I'm hooked on. I'm hooked on. What are you on? I I just hit something. How do you know? I can't see anything in the water. I felt something. You felt the tank? I think. So. But I, I felt a tank though. I felt a tank. Well, I hit something. I don't see anything on I your magnet. I don't see anything on there either, man. But I hit something. Let's see if we can't, whatever you got out there, maybe it was lodged. Or maybe there's stuff in here. No. Did you feel anything? heavy it's a little bit heavier oh oh you got bubbles you got something i got something mm. holy crap i got something big what do you got mm. i got a scooter a what a scooter a s what kind of scooter a scooter no you don't yes i do what i don't see anything i don't see anything on there what do you mean a scooter he, he does have a scooter <laughs> No. Um, can somebody hold this right here real quick? Careful, don't, don't let it hook you. What in the world? Best find of the day. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly new. 
Dude, that has not been in there very long. You awesome. said best find of the day? It's That's the only thing we the found only today. Thing we found so far. We mostly got a bucket of junk. But I think the trip was worthwhile. Dude, I mean, the, my man came out here and pulled a scooter. Like on my third try. And technically, I did tell I did tell Houston off camera we were supposed to be taking turns, and that was really my turn to pull. So technically, that's our scooter, and the handlebar does adjust. So I mean, we could both ride. All right, so we're gonna have to see Ron ride the scooter then, huh, Houston? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying it was your lucky yee -ye hat. That's yeah, what I'm gonna say. No man, if you hadn't had that on, you'd have probably pulled out some fish hooks. Yep. Hey, Dad. Knock, knock. Who's there? Daisy. Daisy who? They see me rolling. <laughs> hey, why don't you tell them Brian's one he's told you 16 times this week. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You Oklahomians. It's, you it's funny because he'll get loud. He'll, he'll say, knock, knock, or no, he'll say, hey, why'd the chicken cross the road? And they go, why? And he goes, my man. <laughs> Good lord. We need to cast over there again. We will, for sure. And you could have there was up, a team. Well, you could have come up over the edge of the ramp too. Yeah. Because there's a ramp that runs down there. I don't know how like far a, out it goes, but it was like and you might team, still right? have it. It might have just had to you had to get it unlodged from the ground. Just waiting on you. Whenever you get this pulled in. Yeah, Houston goes with a dramatic effect, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, no kidding. Well, that's why I got the scooter. Oh, that's why. That's why he's got the scooter. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't fault your logic, Houston. Well, I got something. He definitely got something on there. I don't know if it's anything. Right, let me see here. You got an old nut, a nut for the nut job. And then I think you got... So... What Daniel, what do you think this is? Because people tells me that this is actually fragments of metal from railroad tile. I don't know what people say. But that looks like just like magnetic rocks to me. I'm just saying. Hmm. Cause some of them are like shells. I'm not an expert. I mean, no, me either. But I mean, like, that's shells. That's not metal. It's definitely. That's shells. 100%. Shells. And I they're mean, sticking some to Some sort of oyster shell there. Yeah, I don't know why that. I mean. What is that? Is that a prison shank? <laughs> <laughs> Do we. <laughs> well, magnet fishing was a success. If you want to see the full video, we just showed a couple minutes here. Go to the cameraman Ron YouTube channel. He's got a ton of magnet fishing videos. Like I said, he found um, possibly a old pirate gun. We are going to maybe out and get it looked at, like buying a professional um, to find out. Like Pawn Stars? You, no, like a real professional. <laughs> Look, there's a difference between us TV professionals and like real legit professionals that just do it and don't film it. There's so. a difference between us YouTube professionals and TV professionals. This Dude, is true. This is real stuff. The stuff on TV, don't watch that. Yeah, That's a joke. I had a, uh, it was funny, I had a comment the other day about our stuff being fake. And then I, this is not a joke. I look at their Facebook page and every other post was something from the Kardashians. <laughs> and I'm like, so wait, you think what we're doing is fake, but you're watching that and you don't think that's fake? Like, come on, guys. Come yep. On. Yep. So be sure to check out the Cameraman Ron YouTube channel, Major Magnet Ron Fishing, something like that. I love hanging out with you because I get so many new titles. It's amazing, <laughs> like every time. Yep. So Houston and I are going to load up. We're going to head back to the beach. I figure all the family's probably out on the beach right now. Dude, it just threw sparks. Hey, when you hit the brakes, that spark, that's a sparker. When you threw hit the brakes, it was throwing sparks behind you. Oh my gosh, it is. Back up away where I can film you. That's cool. Well, we didn't even notice that. You got a fire starter scooter. 
you're gonna be with the tourists you might as well look like one so got my hat oh the beach is beautiful today this might be the best water day we've had Y'all get that volleyball net set up. I'll come school you on the, on the game. We got, we got one side, it's okay. I'm on the good side. I expect you to be here all day. I will. I suspect you'll be here all day. I will. I'm gonna fry. Yes. <laughs> like a like a Arby's uh, curly fry. You're gonna look like one of them crispy curly fries. We're all gonna be miserable. That was a great hit, Riley.